Uh, hi, I'm Sumitra. I'm coordinating the field practice for the um, MA Education curriculum. Uh, so this particular field practice is the first of the three that has been designed uh, uh, in their uh, entire curriculum. This time they've gone to Rajasthan, rural parts of Rajasthan. They've gone to rural Karnataka. Uh, they've spent, uh, some groups have spent time in rural Chhattisgarh and the others in Madhya Pradesh. So uh, it's a nice mix of, you know, uh, almost the entire, I mean, representations from North, South, uh, Central India. And starting from their journey of, you know, traveling together in a train, living in a place, uh, these experiences actually change the way you look at you know, uh, what it is to live in a rural place. Then why do people behave a particular way? Why, uh, so why is education difficult there or what are the merits? And despite those difficult conditions, how does education bloom in some of these places? Uh, all of these are aspects that we actually experience in these two weeks. We got to know about the, um, the structure of the um, structure of the educational department of uh, Rajasthan. But, um, we talked with all the teachers and we got to know about all their beliefs, how they work there. Because most of the teachers are for, from the same village, they did their schooling from that uh, schools. So how their thoughts, their beliefs uh, are reflected in their uh, teaching also. So how that uh, these things is uh, being reproduced and how the whole chain is working in the Rajasthan. So they have been doing a lot of theory and discussions in the classroom um, and here and there school visits but this is the time when they are immersed into the field trying to understand the processes and uh, the activities in, you know, as they are uh, grounded in reality. So the poster presentations is final culmination of their work that they have done where they put their experiences together in the most visually you know, consolidated in a way that is understandable and they present it to the people and you can see it in their eyes, the insights they have gathered from the field. Uh, hi, my name is Ankita. Uh, I went to Dungarpur district in uh, Rajasthan. It also again comes in southern part of Rajasthan. Uh, the tribal, uh, it's a tribal wealth. So the uh, tribe, uh, bean community is the most, 70% of the population is the bean community over there. Uh, so in this program we also got to talk with the PEPO, which is a Panchayat Elementary Education Officer. This is the only post which is present in Rajasthan at now where the decentralization is at the panchayat level. Uh, we also saw how a different uh, community look towards the education and the teacher uh, views of the teacher towards the education and all the community. Uh, hi, my name is Vani. I'm a first year student of the MA Education Program at Azim University and as part of our first free practice education. Uh, my group and I have just gone to Chhattisgarh. We have visited uh, Kurut block in Chhattisgarh and uh, we've just finished our presentation on our experience. Um, for me, uh, the experience was extremely eye-opening because I have worked with uh, the public education system in the past, but for me to understand this uh, at a very myopic level, this uh, field practice engagement was uh, very, very interesting. I'm Madhubanti. I'm based in Chhattisgarh and uh, I hosted seven students as part of FP1. A very interesting experience hosting them and interacting with them and uh, they also came up with some uh, unique understanding and reflections of their own and they also posed some questions in front of me uh, as a mentor it was uh, very refreshing for me as well so this is the start of their experiences in the field uh, going forward, they'll spend more time in the field, they'll spend a longer duration there, teach there uh, and have a deeper insight into the realities, the ground realities of rural India, India as a whole. And uh, hopefully by the end of the entire two-year program, they would have a, an idea that's very close to their heart where they want to make a difference. And all of these experiences would uh, keep them grounded and you know, help them these ideas would be there in their minds when they make a plan.